okay, so I just got uh, rear-ended. I hit and run. Yeah, um, I was stopping, getting off the highway, and I figure I should, in the heat of the moment, kind of make this video. It's been maybe, I don't know, 15 minutes or something, but I'm still like all kind of shook up, and I mean, I'm just, I don't know, I'm like on edge. You know, I'm kind of like ready to go. And the cops are on their way, um, so I figure, so I figure I can make this video really quick and I'll, I'll overlay some of the dash cam footage. So I wasn't recording with a GoPro or anything. I was just driving home, got off the highway on the off ramp and pulled up to a red light and just, you know, stop at the red light. Nothing fast, wasn't slamming on my brakes or anything. I wasn't doing any autopilot, anything. It wasn't autopilot and I'm completely stopped. And then the person behind me just boop, just kind of, you know, hits the back of my car. And you know, to be fair, it wasn't a big hit, but I think, I don't remember. I was like, holy crap. or. I don't know, I said something out loud. Are you kidding me? Whatever, I said something. Because it's, I'm in the Tesla and I know about the repairs and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, what a pain in the butt. So we turn right and immediately, of course, I turn my right turn signal on to show them I'm going to get off the road. And they don't do that. Um, and they stay in the middle lane. There were, I think, three lanes. And then they keep going. And I'm like, are you kidding me right now? So I get behind them and I'm like, I'm going to follow them. Because I at least know that I need to be behind them for a second so that my dash cam can get their license plate. And so the Tesla cam can, can get the license plate in, on it. So I'm behind them for a second and then they swerve in front of some other cars. And I probably could have stuck with them, but I just, I don't know, I didn't feel right about it. I didn't want to chase this person. It doesn't look like there's too much damage. Let me show you, let me show you the damage. Um, I didn't even think about that. I'm, I'm out of my mind right now. I'm just, I can't think straight. Okay, so here's my car. You can see, you know, where he bumped it. Um, I did put it in reverse for a bit, uh, and uh, none of the sensors are giving me any errors or anything. You can see my car's pretty much caked in dirt, so, you know, maybe that maybe that protected it a little bit, let's hope. Um, but here it is, it was a pickup truck, I think it was red, um, whatever, it's all in the dash cam, which I have not seen yet. Um, so, hopefully, there's not too much damage un under there. Um, there is an ultrasonic sensor right here, um, but again, I put it in reverse and it wasn't freaking out. Everything seems to be working, so that's good news at least. Thank you. So even though it's a hit and run, you know what? That actually hit and run. Why? Pipe because it's not a thousand dollars worth of damage. A hit and oh. run. Well, let me back up there. <laughs> it's not a property damage crash. A hit and run involves a car and a pedestrian or a car and a bicycle. Oh. What is it when they hit your that car? That would be a failure to uh, report damage to pictures or failure to stop at a property mm -hmm. damage accident. Interesting. So it's not Never actually heard that. a property damage accident. Mm -hmm. It might be, if my insurance says it is. Your insurance will say it is because they're going to want us to draw a crash report to do that, but we don't actually work for your insurance company. They're going to try to boss you around and boss us around. Okay. But be like, hey, I'm giving you my card. Thank you. I appreciate it. Just in case in the future, all right? All right. Thank I wrote you. the date and time on the back two of your incident. Got it. So that way, just in case you had something to refer to in the future, all right? All right. Thank you. Yep. Have a good night. You too. So I, uh, I had this up. Uh, I don't want to turn around the camera, but I just can't believe he doesn't want to do anything. That's crazy. There he goes. Um, I mean, it does look like a tiny little scratch, but like this guy freaking hit my car and ran away. <sighs> All right. So if you're just here for the crash, uh, that's it. <laughs> I'm going to go. Um, I'm, get, I'm in the car wash, automatic car wash. I know. Oh my God. Those are an automatic car wash, but uh, I'm going to get it cleaned off so that we can see what's going on in the bumper, which is what the cop said. He said, Clean it off, go to AutoZone and whatever. So I'm just going through here real quick. I'm gonna go to AutoZone and see what they say. It's, just, it's BS, it's BS, but he wouldn't do anything. He wouldn't do anything. I was, I missed the first part. So I was recording. I asked, I asked the cop, I said, do you mind if I record the audio from uh, my phone in my pocket? And he goes, I don't see why not. Uh, but then my phone wasn't on. I totally forgot, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna go uh, try this out. Um, and that's what he said. Sorry, I'm still a little flustered. He said, like just go to AutoZone. He's like, there's nothing I can do, and it'll be five or ten bucks worth of damage, and you can fix it. So we'll see. All right, so here it is after the car wash. Um, I don't know. It looks pretty bad to me, but. Uh, the guy from AutoZone, I'm at AutoZone right now, came out and was kind of doing this. And it was, yeah, you can see it is coming off. So his advice was uh, this. And he's like, just spray it on there, wipe it down, 
do it a couple times if it's not going away. He said, be careful, don't go too deep. You can go through the clear coat. He said, if that doesn't get rid of it, then you are going to a body shop, getting sanded and, and all that, going through insurance. So we'll see, but the car is nice and clean now. And I don't know if you can tell, but it does look pretty nice when it's clean. It's like, it's like a totally different, nice, shiny car. Really liking that. Okay, so I was gonna record it, but I couldn't really do it with, you know, only one hand on the camera. And you can see here, I cleaned, <laughs> just driving home, my car's already dirty again. But uh, I cleaned the area and I used, you know, what he told me. And obviously it didn't work. Um, there's only a little bit uh, right here. So you can kind of hear, this is smooth. And this is rough. Um, so what he gave me didn't work. Um, so luckily, no touching the ultrasonic sensor here. Um, yeah, what he gave me didn't work, but I think if I get the right product, that guy didn't really seem like he wanted to help me. He just was trying to blow me off. Just uh, everybody tonight. So yeah, that's the worst part right there, I suppose. Looks a little worse on the camera with the light on it, but... I don't know. Um, I'm going to try something else. And if I need to go through insurance, that'll be in part two. So yeah, that was my night. Just I can't believe the cops didn't do anything. Actually, I actually haven't even seen the um, footage myself from, from the Tesla cam. So hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think, what products you think I should use on this. Um, and I will see you in the next video.